my name is Rain, and welcome to the shadows that run the <laughs> the shadows that run alongside our car. This is another visual novel, so don't expect a lot of gameplay. That was the mistake I made in my first visual novel video. <coughs> um, but yeah, this is another visual novel, and we are gonna play. It's it's like it takes place in the apocalypse, as I know. And there's two strangers in a car, and they're driving through an apocalypse, which honestly just sounds awesome to me. So we're gonna start. What could go wrong? Whose eyes will you see the road through? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll go with her. We'll go with her. Gun it. Okay then. I lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird, sitting on the side of the car. But my stomach's been feeling off for a while, and I just can't drive. And so I've handed my keys over to this stranger. That's a risky move, that is, yeah. What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, what's, what's the worst? Well, what's the worst? They got your glasses all cracked. And so it's the apocalypse, that makes sense. Also, I've heard that there's multiple endings, so I don't know if I'm going to really get how many endings. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, should set a timer. <laughs> Just so I don't go over time. Alright, what's the worst that could happen? I stare out the window watching the unchanging scenery whiz by. <laughs> There's an awkward silence, but I don't feel like t I don't feel like filling it. It's so stuffy in the car. I reach for the window control button and let the window roll open. Is, is that a good idea? Uh, this, that's what I'm. You sure that's a good idea? That's what I'm wondering. It's not like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. Ah, uh, if you've seen The Walking Dead, <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe they would. Fair enough. The slight breeze feels good against my neck, but this guy looks like he wants to say something. So. Guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name anyway? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... Oh! Put in your own name, huh? That's a pretty basic name, right? Uh, my name is Rain. Rain. It's pretty pretty. I like that name a lot. <laughs> well, nice to officially meet you then, Rain. Names... What's his name? Crap. <laughs> Uh, what does he look like? Uh... Don't ask why, just... <laughs> Lucas? Is that how you spell Lucas? That's that's how I'm gonna spell Lucas. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't ask why, there's no reason why. I just, he looks like a Lucas to me. I don't know why. Alright, Lucas. Never met one, so maybe he's nice. Okay, he's smiley. <laughs> okay, back to silence. Alright. He looks dissatisfied. How is he expecting me to react? Oh, yeah. It's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a Lucas. I- What? I excuse you! I picked the name! <laughs> I should have been this guy. He's a lot more upbeat than she is. I continue st uh, staring out the window. The sky is so red. Normally I'd think it was pretty, but now it's just depressing me. Bad things come out after dark. I imagine. I remember that all too well. I'd rather not think about that. So I decided to break the science after all. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. He looks surprised. I guess I haven't been talking much since we met. This is the opposite of me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You know, this- yo, oh, sorry. You know, this and that. I've never really settled in into one thing in particular. I feel that. Um, I graduated. That's what I would say. I gra <laughs> Before the apocalypse happened, I graduated. It was great. <laughs> what does that mean? That was weird. Whatever. Um, uh, whatever sounds a little too harsh, so I'll just say that was weird. He doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. I wonder what his job really was. Maybe he was a cashier. A really boring cashier. Sounds like something I can relate to. <laughs> Maybe he was a trash collector? He does look kind of dirty. Excuse you, you're not the cleanest either. That's the apocalypse. 
Well, I shouldn't be rude. I'm not much of a catch myself. Oh, now she smiles. <laughs> you smiled insulting yourself, girl. Come on. <laughs> what about you? This ride is yours, right? Hmm. Yeah, well, it's really my dad's car. Or was. Ooh. That's sad. <laughs> I mean, not, not that I could relate. <laughs> but that's sad for her. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. After Dad got that third DUI, oh, oh, his license was revoked. He used that as an excuse to never leave the house. It was just as well, anyway. It was just as, yeah, it was just as well, anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget where. Ah, guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. Yeah, family's a rough topic. For me, too. <laughs> I'm feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm on the outside looking in. I wonder if I'm really that callous? I wonder if I'm really that callous. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more perspective. It's okay, the booze would have killed him eventually anyway. <laughs> I don't think he expected that one. <laughs> oh gosh. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Yeah, take a hint already. Jeez, rude. I wonder where we're going. Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Yeah, I've kind of thought about that. That's kind of sad. Still. Do you think there are any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. I'd roll up the window if you're going to play music. I reach towards the console and turn the radio dial in one direction. There's nothing but static. Sometimes metallic screeching. Great. Hang on a sec. Go back down. Hmm? What did he hear exactly? There couldn't really be something there, could there? I slowly rotate the knob back the other way. Wait! There it is, I think. <gasps> oh my gosh! Music! Is that... Mariachi? I hope I pronounced that right. Oh. My. God. Well, she's happy about it. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe. Out of all the music that could be playing, this is what we get. What am I thinking? Of course it is. Well, at least the moon is lightened. Of course we're on a highway to hell in the dark and mariachi is the only music available to us. The combination of, sp of, of Spanish vocals and horns on the track are completely ridiculous right now. That's great. I'm actually dying. <laughs> I'm sure we all are. The, the dual set tones of the fabulous man are actually killing me. Of this fabulous man are actually killing me. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Who the hell's out there running this? Of all the music that could be left. Man. I mean, y yeah, I guess. I expected jazz, kind of. I don't know. It takes me a minute to settle down. But then... Wait, isn't this the same song again? Ugh, it's probably on an endless loop. Because why wouldn't it be? Typical. Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the, on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. <laughs> DJing zombies, can you picture it? <laughs> what do you think a zombie to even listen to? Is death metal too obvious of an answer? <laughs> Rob Zombie, or maybe they're all into baby metal these right? Baby metal these days? I don't know. I think the Grateful Dead just seems more appropriate. You know, I've always wondered this, but what are you, well but what are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they'd let the rest of us have some. This music is so distracting. <laughs> I don't want to turn down all my volume, but it's really distracting. <laughs> Ain't so bad right now, anyway. Well, except for that. He just returns the console. 101.7 is now the infinite loop mariachi radio station. So, what are you into, anyway? Music-wise? I really like 
Oh, jeez, I can't read this menu. Can I? Oh. Settings. Ah. Oh. Is it volume? Oh. Turn. Should I have saved before I picked that option before? Music wise, I was really like I, pff, I was Jesus. Music wise, I really like Al Alanis, a Morissette, 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 top forty hits, that sort of thing. Not like I had a lot of free time to explore my musical taste for anything or anything. You, and don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you, would you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that act that might be for the best. He doesn't have to know that I unironically like baby metal. <laughs> what do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but well, you probably actually might. <laughs> or you'll you'll probably judge actually me more me more for this me more for this. I'm I'm sorry. I don't recognize any of these names, by the way. <laughs> if I'm tr if I'm supposed to, I'm sorry. Oh, judge me more for this. I see. Try me. <laughs> Smug. Abba. Eba. Abba. I'm gonna say Abba. A B B A. <laughs> oh my God! I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I lose it. Everything is just too much. <laughs> he looks kind of sullen. I'm sorry, Lucas, but. But not that, sorry. <laughs> Told you. No, no, it's fine. This mu their music's catchy. I managed to get these words out. Oh, I managed to get these words out. All this laughing's making my stomach hurt more, damn it. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Yeesh. <laughs> How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for... Oh, Al Al Alanis. Al I want to say Atlantis, but it's Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Yeah, people say I look 14, but um, I am actually 19. <laughs> Except for that one. I am 22. Nice. Hmm. What kind of reaction is that? No, whoa, you look so young or anything like that. I wonder how old Lucas is anyway. This music's kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? You should be happy to have it. That's sure an optimistic take on it. Why are you so... Alright, enough of you. What? 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 Okay, he looks upset now. Um, don't kick me out of the car, please. This is mine. He purposefully reaches over and shuts off the radio. Heh. <laughs> He's got a surprisingly immature side to him, too. Duh, okay. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? What? Where did that come from all of a sudden? <laughs> Immediately! I'm not one to change the subject. I'll just pause. Why'd he have to ruin the mood like that? It's getting dark, huh? Okay, she changes the subject anyways. The sun sets so late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the streetlights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. That sounds kind of morbid, but kind of fitting for the end of the world. I'm getting real nervous. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just on edge. Probably because it's the zombie apocalypse, the window's halfway down, and I just, um, yeah. <laughs> it's silent again for a little while, but it doesn't last. So you never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well, hmm. What do you like to do? Or what did you, or what did you before everything? Like to do? I turn my eyes to the window as I think of my, think on my life. Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, back to work, get off work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. 
That sounds very dull, miss. I'm very sorry. That was about it. And after leading such a boring life, I ended up here. I'm probably not even going to go out with a bang. Pro oh, I see. My death's going to be just as dull as my life. Oh. I guess that'd be the mo I guess that'd be most people's story. It's tough out there. Was tough. Probably tougher now. I would think it'd be tougher now, yeah. Hey, but travel is free. Little did you know, I actually look forward to the zombie apocalypse. Travel is free. <laughs> um, ha, all kinds of point uh all kind of pointlessness pointless. Oh my gosh, why can't I read? All ha all kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? Pointless all kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? <laughs> I can't speak for some reason. Or read. You work your damn tail off and everything goes uh, goes to pot anyway. I know, right? That doesn't... Uh. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? That's deep. He's just trying to sound cool. No, that is deep. That is... I mean, that's a dark way to look, yeah. That's actually exactly how I feel about it, too. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to relate to him. Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person. That is true. We're all going to die anyway. That is dark. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is a zombie apocalypse game. What did I expect? <laughs> so what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. Actually, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Did he backpack across Europe or something? What does nomad mean in this context? Well, whatever. That sounds really cliche. Not really. It sort of suits you. I mean, I can see it. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Yeah. Got to the... Got to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Don't we all? <laughs> I guess I got my wish, didn't I? <laughs> you did this. <laughs> I used to wish for that too. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be responsible for dad anymore. And now I'm not, but I can't say whether that's really a good thing or not. Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? That is un- that is true. That is unfortunately true. I mean, sometimes it's uh, it's it, it, it's it's uh, <laughs> sometimes it's fortunate. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> yeah, monkey's paw. My stomach starts to throb painfully. I look down and, and press my hand against it. Are you? You're not like sick, right? Like infected, sick. It felt okay for a while there, but it's acting up again. Uh, if I were this guy, I'd be seriously concerned. <laughs> God, why did all this have to happen? Still feeling nauseous? Hmm? Damn, I shouldn't be so obvious about it. Yeah, that's not a good thing. I don't want to cause any trouble. This might be causing even more trouble, though. Oh, yeah, it's gotten a little better, but... Anyway, I moved my hand away from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand there will make the pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel that pain, I know I'm still alive. For now. <laughs> that was morbid as hell. What's wrong with me? I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. You think we should stop and rest? Uh, in the middle of the apocalypse? I glance at the fuel gauge on the dashboard, nervous. We barely have one-fourth of the tank left, as it is. Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Braking would just waste gas. Yeah, I did hear that. Onward it is, then. Trying to ignore my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless road and stretch out ahead of us. On the endless road stretched out ahead of us. It really hurts now. I'm seriously concerned now. The music seems to change. I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. She's not looking good. I I wonder if something happened. 
And that's saying a lot, considering I ha what I have to go through every month. Yeah, I was wondering, like, this definitely it must not be your... I was going to make a joke about it being a period, but <laughs> it didn't seem appropriate. I deserve this, don't I? Oh, I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought it on myself. Feel bad about what? What did you do? What happened? Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? From the moment I swung that baseball bat, I sealed my own fate. Just as I start to sink in, into really dark thoughts, I hear Lucas's voice. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this is dark. We're here, that's what matters. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and the why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at all. <laughs> you know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean that we are really facing the apocalypse. Or whatever. So the first couple months, I just kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. Yeah, that sounds like what anyone else would do. And then... And then I couldn't ignore it anymore. And then Dad... How do I even begin to explain? Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want to, but... Your old man... What happened? She just said she didn't want to talk about it. My dad? Well, she thought it, anyways. <gasps> I killed him. I don't think she killed him. I think she killed him as zombie. So I don't count that. I don't count that. I smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and then ran like hell. Ha! So he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore. So he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed since he wasn't really any different from usual. Does it does it count as murder if you kill a zombie? I don't think so. Not in the apocalypse. Everyone dies and it just I don't know. I mean it's still traumatizing. Don't get don't get me wrong, it's still I mean like you're still killing what looks to be human, but it's not, you know. Does it count as murder if you never get arrested just because your town's entire police force is un is now undead? That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And so am I. Don't put yourself down like that. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain now. And guilt. D did she get injured, clawed, bit? What? I just don't know. She looks fine top half, but I don't... <laughs> I don't know of anything else. I stare out the window, seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there. Though that hasn't changed since way before, I guess. Okay, so these are their, her legs, I'm guessing? Hey. And sh no bite marks that I can see. <laughs> hey. Oh, I feel sudden warmth on top of my hand, hesitant at first, but then steady. Lucas's hand envelops mine, and I feel comforted, safe. We're still here, just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> That's pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. I don't know how close they were, but... Wow, where do I even start? Widow? White? No, white light? Be no, be honest. Be honest. I mean, I don't know how much time either of you have left. Why keep any lies? For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Lucas. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. Somehow. Well, he didn't just take your keys and run off, so... <laughs> My mouth opens all on its own and words spill out. Honestly, I felt relieved when he died. And then I felt awful for feeling re relieved. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it all, I just felt free. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling of freedom for long. It makes me feel like a monster to admit all this to someone else. It really does. But that's the truth. 
I wouldn't worry too much. There's nothing. There's there's no way. There's no. <laughs> there's no wrong way to feel. He's right. I know that I'm only human. I'm not a monster. Not yet, anyway. Uh, not yet. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> Girl, you're making me nervous. I guess I'm also privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long while. I'm tempted to play his side of things when I'm done with her side. I want to know his side. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they've, sh they're if they're stuck out there like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Lucas, I. Oh gosh. What changed? I can't go on like this. Just keeping it to myself. Hey, Lucas. There's something I need to tell you. Oh crap. <sighs> Oh, have you been infected? I touch my stomach lightly with the palm of my hand. The searing pain reminds me that I'm no longer entirely human. Frick, I knew it. I gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. I should have said something before. I wanted to, but... I was scared. I'm still scared. I didn't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could. And then he bit me in the stomach! <sighs> As a parting gift as he crumpled to the ground, I called it. Even in death, death, Dad still found some way to screw me over. I... Hey, stop. It's okay. Did you know, man? Do you know? I always blame Dad for Mom leaving us. Oh, He was selfish. He was an asshole. He, he was an a-hole! He was... <laughs> he was this. He was that. But just look at me. I've put... I've put Luke's life in danger. I've lied to him since the day we met. I'm I'm my father's daughter. God, I'm gonna end up crying. I did not expect this emotion. I did not expect that to hurt so much. I myself don't have a very good family situation with my dad. My mom. My mom's closest. My mom will always be the closest person to me. But yeah, my dad. I did not expect that to hurt so much. But I... Just... Keep calm, alright? We won't even really know how this all works, so... Maybe there's a way. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected it to. He knows. He pieced it together. He's a smart boy. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm, need I'm not even sure if that has anything to... I'm not even sure if that has anything to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this. I look down at my stomach. I might think I just imagined it. I wish I wish I was dreaming right now. I wish this wasn't reality. I wish I was dead. Aww. <laughs> Careful there. Remember that thing about <laughs> wishes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you, you, you. I like him. Still trying to lighten the mood. Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Man, this girl is getting relatable too. Silver lining. Psh, retail? Oh yeah, retail. <laughs> Almost as bad as zombies. Dude, I picked- I could tell she's got a little shopping cart. A uh, little logo on her shirt. I could tell- I can tell a, re a, a fellow cashier when I know <laughs> I can see it. Oh. Worse, probably. Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. We'll probably be on this road for a while. A while, huh? Well, a rest does sound nice. Always had to get up so early for work. I'm not used to being up this late. I'm starting to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. Will you? Will you make? Will you wake me up if anything happens? My mind flashes to the baseball bat still in my trunk. I... No, I won't think about that right now. Of course. And hey, gotta be somewhere better than down... Somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there, at, a, at any rate. You shouldn't. Okay, you should not have put your baseball bat in the back of the... In the trunk of the car. Uh, you should have kept it in the back seat at least. <sighs> Oh boy. I hope he can get to it in time. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's just like. 
If something were to happen right now, they're both buckled in a car, okay? She leans over, his arm's right here. He's gone if that happens. Yeah, maybe there'll even be a station that plays both Al Alanis and Ava. <laughs> Abba, whatever. <laughs> maybe, maybe I've been running ever since Mom left. I never looked back, just kept going. It was all I could do to keep from falling apart. Lucas and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten further than I ever thought possible. I noticed that the fuel gauge light is on, but I feel strangely at peace. I close my eyes, smiling as my consciousness already starts to drift. Wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we lived the proof that <laughs> the proof of that will remain no matter what. So for now on, let's just keep going forward. Oh. Did I ever say who this was by? This was by Locke's Rain. I know, it sounds familiar. What do I do? Do I wait? Do I... Oh, man. We didn't really get a full, like... We didn't really get, like, a full conclusion to that there. We just sort of got... We, we just understood the fact that she was bit and that she fell asleep she probably passed and the car probably stopped and he probably had to move on but on his own <laughs> at least I suspect that happened that's really sad all right um that'll be this will be part one of two I think I'm gonna play his side of things because I want to know his side of, I have to know his oh my gosh I have to know his side of things okay so this will be the first part of this video, and then there'll be a second one right after, because, you know, recording time and all that stuff. La 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 la. Alright, but anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, you enjoy the second part, too. I'm gonna play his side next. I'm gonna keep the same names. And, uh, yes, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! I love you all!